and welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to implement graphql subscription inside your react native app so firstly i will show you the output inside this graphical interface if you want to know how to implement for uh, this in a node.js backend i have already created a video for that so if you are interested you can watch that video so first uh, i have my subscription running so this is my subscription i have clicked on this plus uh, this arrow icon this run icon and it is here you can see it is uh, continuously running over here listening whenever i try to add a new user so i will try to add a new user over here so i will add a new user srk and uh, keep an eye over here so here it will see here you will see the subscription output here you will see the add user output so if i click on run so here you can see srk was added as well as over here srk was added now i will show you the demo inside the ios simulator as well so here you can see as well the srk was added but i will add a new user just to show it to you this will work for android as well but uh, just for simplicity sake i am using uh, ios so what i'll do is i'll just add some uh, new user so uh, i'll add sai click press me and if you go at the bottom here you can see that was added if you go over here inside graphical as well you can see sai was added so yeah let's get started with the code so firstly i would recommend you to watch my previous uh, uh react native video on how to use queries and mutation because we will be using a lot of that code and i won't explain that code because this video is only about subscription so first um you will have to open your uh, react native project create react native project and given that my app is hosted on localhost my node.js backend is hosted on localhost you will have to go to the android folder src main android manifest firstly you will require internet permission and also i have added this uses clear text traffic because my node.js backend is hosted on localhost so if you are testing it on an android you need this next for ios you will have to go to rn app info.plist and here you will have to add uh, this uh, key ns key transport security so this entire thing again this is because our backend is hosted on localhost so we want to support http calls as well next uh, if you are testing like i have not tested it on android emulator but i have tested it on a real android device so if you are testing it on real android device instead of localhost you will have to add the uh, ip address of your wi-fi or network wherever you are connected it connected on uh, so that's one thing and also uh, the android device and the backend should be connected on same wi-fi but if you have deployed it to aws or any other cloud provider you can just use the domain uh, given that i have shown it you on the ios simulator and it it is running on my uh, laptop i can directly use localhost but i think if you are trying to check it on android emulator it might cause you issue so you will have to check what to use instead of localhost maybe localhost might work i'm not really sure but i typically test it on real android device so first you will have to go to package.json and you will have to add apollo client graphql and graphql dash ws these three libraries you will have to add next you will have to go to app.tsx and here you can see uh, i have imported all this stuff so this all these things from apollo client uh, this create client from graphql dash ws and this graphql ws link and get main definition uh, as well from graph apollo client link subscription and apollo client utilities then you will have to create a ws link so my uh, graph my uh, node.js backend is hosted on localhost colon 4000 slash graphql so for uh, ws is basically like a websocket link for uh, which is equal to graphql subscription so that's why you have to use ws over here and for normal uh, qu queries and mutation you will have to use http so i'm using http over here then i'm creating a split link uh, so depending on what operation the user is trying to perform that particular link will be used so here i'm using ws link and http link okay and here then uh, we need to pass the split link over here uh, to create our apollo client and i am cre i have created this uh, context provider so that all our components can make use of this apollo provider as well now if you go to my component it just has a uh, what you can see a text input so here you can see it has a text input uh, where we will enter the values i have created a use state for the text input as well this is the mutation for adding a query 
and this is for whenever the text input changes and once the button is pressed uh, i'm just entering this uh, name text input value for name all other values are hard coded for now uh, but yeah that's fine and this is for loading indicator once you submit a text input this in case this is for error in case there is any error uh, okay and here is the button press so that's it on the add user mutation but this i have already covered in my last video so i'm not going it in depth now here is the main part of uh, queries as well as subscription so firstly when the user opens the app i want to query all the user okay so as soon as the user open our app i want to get all the user which are already present inside our database so first i have taken this use state uh, which will uh, contain a list of all the users so uh, so array of strings uh, and not a string but array of this users so here i have created our get user query as well and i have imported use query gql and use subscription from apollo client next i am using this use query hook and i am passing our query and this is my subscription so i am passing the id as well as the name so because i am keeping it consistent with our use query hook given that we are using the same state so whenever we add a new user using uh, mutation and we are listening for this subscription i can easily add inside this set list because the output remains the same for use query and subscription okay and here you can see i'm using this use subscription hook and i'm passing it our subscription and if there is change in any subscription data i'm just appending to the existing array so here you can see subscription data dot new user and if you see the output for subscription it is new user and inside the new user it contains name and id here i'm just uh, requesting name that's why you are not seeing id over here but you can request other fields as well so but once we get the proper data i am just appending it to the uh, list so this will get called only once because use query is only called as soon as our component is mounted but subscription data can be called again and again uh, because we are constantly listening for that data whenever a new user mutation is being done inside render item this is how i am rendering our uh, uh, flat list items and in case there is any loading i am displaying a text in case there is any error so this is for query hoka and this is how i am displaying our flat list and uh, if you want you can use the subscription loading as well but the subscription loading will be continuously loading because it is uh, continuously listening for any subscriptions right so if you that's why i haven't used it but if you want you can use that as well so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching bye